beautiful love and welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be a real-time video of how I prepare the nails it's a combination of what I learned in my cosmetology school what um, I've learned in the workshops and me rereading my cosmetology book for example I've learned we've been using a cuticle push around apparently um, we use the angled side first the little one I'm using right now and we use it to scrape off or loosen any um, dead skin or cuticle skin whatever you call it in English I forgot the terms already um, from the nail I want to thank to all the supporters who've been watching I'll be putting their names down below um, and their links in the description box so you guys could go check them out thank you for everybody who has commented and supported on my videos um, I will always be posting your names and your links down below so people will go check you out so yes um, this is how I prepare the nail like I said a combination um, also, we've been using uh, holding the cuticle stick wrong. I'm too zoomed in for you guys to see, but we're supposed to use it between our thumb and pointy finger, and then we're supposed to support it on our middle finger. That way, we could pressure while we're removing the dead skin, but we're not hurting the client in the process. Next we're going to be using the spoon view of the cuticle or the spoon looking side of the cuticle. We're going to go 1 8 from the nail plate and start pushing the cuticle down. That way we already removed the dead skin and we're not pushing into the cuticle. That way we won't have lifting. So we continue to push and even though we still continue to receive some of the loose um, particles while we're pushing. And we wipe every time um, as much as we can between pushes which I failed to do but um, that's okay because I wipe down the nails after I'm done prepping the nail um, before I apply the uh, acrylic so this video is just gonna be me uh, preparing the nail it's gonna be a two-part thing um, this is me prepping the nail and then after that I'm going to um, do another video with the application this one I'm doing from the start because I hadn't done it so I'm scratching off the disc and this one had really really thick so I'm doing it again and then I start I continue to push again with the cuticle pusher side okay so now I'm all done I proceed to dust it all off with my little blush brush looking thingy I don't know the proper name for that but I brush I brush the excess off with that and then I will be taking a little bit more off with this little cuticle bit that I got I bought the whole kit from exotic nails and supplies the link will be down below um, and it's off right now and I turn the knob slowly until it starts turning as soon as it starts turning that's the speed I use to go around and remove any excess um, dead skin around the cuticle area and the sides that way um, I have minimum or no lifting on the nail. When I'm placing the drill on the nail, I am not leaning it against there. I'm lightly putting it on top. I don't dig it into the nail. That way I don't damage it for any reason. I'm outside the church waiting for my daughter to come out of youth group while editing this. So if you hear voices, that's what it is.
here I'll be showing you the file 180B in the soft, the more coarse side and the 180B in the hard side. I'll be using the softer side to um, prep the nail, remove the shine and open a little bit of lines of adhesive for when I apply the acrylic. And um, yeah, I will be putting, I'm trying, I'm going to start to put tips at the end of my videos that you could probably use. Um, for if you're a beginner or if you having trouble with something, I will do as best as I can with the knowledge I have to help you guys out. And I'll be putting those at the end of the video. The reason I am filing and um, taking the shine off and uh, opening lines of adhesion on the nail with the file this way is because it helps me. Um, push any extra cuticle back or anything that might still be in the area. That way, again, so when I apply the acrylic, there's no dimension of the primer and then I use um I'll be using the acrylic from exotic I use their primer um latin evolution primer and res um glue or resin to apply the tips um I'll be putting the link of everything I use down below on the video and as you can see before I glue the nail I pinch them that way the little corners don't stick out everywhere when I glue it on it's hugging the nail a little better and I don't have the little corners sticking out as much and I don't have to cut as much off because I feel like when you cut off that's when the nails kind of like start breaking off. Okay loves, I only do two nails to show you how I glue the tip because of the camera being on the side. I was afraid if I kept gluing sideways my nails were going to go on crooked. So I just showed you how I glued on two nails. I really hope this helps. Let me know if I like doing this real time if it helps you in anything. And if you have any questions or any videos you might want just let me know and I'll do my best to record them. Okay, and here I just start cutting the tips. I tend to cut the pinky and the thumb a little shorter just so it looks more um, uniformed when um, the nails are all set. And I cut the middle finger a lot longer than the rest of them. That way it looks more uniform. Otherwise, the middle finger nails starts looking a little, if you do them all even, it looks much, much shorter than the rest and it doesn't look right. Once I'm done gluing and cutting the tips, I will be filing the sides, trying to shape it, give it a little more of the shape that she wants, and I'll be using the hundred side, the grittier side, that way it goes a little faster. I'll file the sides to shape a bit more, and the tip as well to square the tip as well to square it off. I can't speak today. I'm sorry.
once I'm done doing that, just for it to be a little faster for me and for me not to file the nail bit more since I already got it prepped, um, we only have 10 layers of nail on our nails and I don't want to do any more damage to it. So I get my ceramic bit and I put it on the lowest um, RPM and then I blend the tip into the nail without touching the nail. And I proceed to do this to all the nails. I feel it helps me to cut time a little more. I'm not damaging her nail. And since it's a safety bit, I could get in the corners without hurting her like I would with a normal file. Okay, my beauties, this concludes the part one of the, the set that I'm recording. I will be uploading the other one soon, um, still in this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, put your thumbs up. Please share it if you think it'll help anybody. Also, um, YouTube is changing a lot, so if you want to know when I upload videos, you have to push the little bell so you can get notifications, and it comes out on your feed. And now to proceed to how I read my book. It says number one. Use angled end to carefully loosen cuticle. We've been doing it wrong. We've been pushing and then scraping. We should be scraping first. Number two, lightly slide angled end along the cuticle to help lift skin from nail plates. Number three, place spoon in a pusher, the concave side against nail plate, one eighth inch above the cuticle. Number four, move the spoon and a pusher forward into cuticle using slight pressure. And you use a cuticle as flat as can be, you guys. Uh, number five, push skin away from nail grooves. If you guys by any chance don't have a metal pusher and you have the wooden stick, you can always wrap cotton around it. Or it's also called a manicure stick. So just wrap cotton around end of manicure stick. That one took too long, sorry. Um, number two, slightly push tip of cotton wrapped manicure stick against cuticle. I feel like this is more if you're going to do a manicure with gel polish. Number three, continue pushing cuticle moving across the base of the nail. Okay, ladies, that's all. Thank you for watching. Hugs, kisses, and squeezes. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next part. Bye. I love you.